Well, former President Donald Trump is expected to return to court this morning, right here in New York. Uh, there's a pretrial hearing in the Hush Money criminal case, where he faces charges of falsifying business records to cover up a payment to porn star Stormy Daniels before the 28, 2016 rather, election. Robert Costa, tracking the cases for us, as well as other cases. He's joining us now. Bob, good morning. Good morning. The next couple of days could be quite significant for former President Donald Trump on the legal front, all as he is on the campaign trail as well, just days before next Saturday's South Carolina Republican primary. This is mega country. For former President Trump, a presidential campaign that pinballs from the trail to the courtroom. I'm being indicted for you and never forget. Our enemies want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. Trump was indicted in Manhattan last March on 34 felony counts of falsifying business records tied to his alleged role in a hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels. Prosecutors say the money was an attempt to influence the 2016 presidential election. The former president denied any wrongdoing. Trump has pleaded not guilty to the charges, and the hearing today will determine the trial's start date, which could be as soon as next month. Meanwhile, in the election interference case being brought in Georgia, a hearing beginning today will decide whether Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis will be disqualified from trying Trump and his co-defendants. She is under scrutiny after misconduct allegations related to her relationship with special prosecutor Nathan Wade, whom she hired, and related finances. In a court filing, Willis acknowledged a personal relationship with Wade, but denied any conflict of interest that justifies removing her from the prosecution. As a woman of color, it would not matter what I did. My motive, my talent, my ability, and my character would be constantly attacked. The next few days could bring, again, more legal turbulence for Trump here in New York. Judge Angoran in the New York civil fraud case is expected on Friday to issue a ruling about the scope of what the penalty would be in that case. Could be hundreds of millions of dollars, and it could determine the fate of Trump's business empire. And marie all right, so Bob, you covered most of the cases. I want to ask you about one that you didn't cover, though. Uh, what can you tell us about Trump's continued standoff with special counsel Jack Smith over his claim of presidential immunity in the January 6th case? In that case, which is happening on the federal level, special counsel Jack Smith is now urging the Supreme Court to not listen and not follow Trump's claims of immunity in the January 6th case and instead allow the judge in the case, Judge Chutkin, to proceed with the January 6th trial. Jack Smith has been writing to the Supreme Court in various briefs that he believes there's an urgent public interest in having this trial take place before the election and to have the, all of this new evidence he's compiled about January 6th come out into the public domain. All right, Bob, thank you very much.